Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Telltale's The Walking Dead. We're continuing on our mission through episode 4, and in this episode we're hopefully going to see what's going on here in this Crawford place, so let's just get going. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. I think I see one over there by the door. That looks like a zombie to me. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out trying to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Looks like a Zambi to me. What the fuck? Yeah. Did everyone in here die? What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside. A lot fast. of walkers. zombies your guess is as good as mine nope <laughs> well she should be scared keep her alert I thought this place was supposed to be secure what always happens I guess in the end the dead always win oh man we are so screwed no this is good Vernon's right we can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. True story. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? Shut no. Up, ben. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, maybe it's your next. Oh, there's a red X on the door. And that one too. Just keep moving. Here. She's gonna get grabbed, isn't she? Looks okay. Everybody in. Okay. Just don't trust her. Armory. Hmm. Figures. <laughs> looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Motor pool might have a battery. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? 
There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Okay. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Yeah. Just makes sense, doesn't it? So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those <laughs> tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. But do Watch we really back. trust Ben to get into the okay, armory? we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Good luck. What about me? What can I do? Come on with me. I need you to stay here with Ben. No, don't stay with Ben. Center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? <laughs> oh, okay. Back before you know it. I should take Clem with me, though. I just don't trust Ben. I don't. Okay, guess I'm going out. What's this say? Illnesses, 14 authorization, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Wait, what's this sign? Must be the guy who ran this place. Hey, I think that's the dude Looks that was like standing outside the house. Some kind of supreme leader. That's definitely the dude that was outside the house. The alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've already hmm. been fired. They're worthless. Guess I'm going this way? Ah, yes. This must be the door to the alleyway. The Watch it set off an alarm. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? I'm not going that way. Nope. Looters will be shot on sight. Nice. Oh, there is that shadow again. Hmm. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. What's in this shed? Anything? Oh. Genius. Let's see if this holds his weight. Yeah, but you're gonna have to get back too. Must be the entrance to that auto shop where Bree said we'd find that battery. Yeah, let's try that. No, good not to go around, right? Damn, it's jammed tight. <laughs> okay, not that way. Better not get too close. Do I just really have to muscle this? Oh no! Where did he come from? Leave him! 
He's mine. Oh, oh, she knows this one. Nice to see you. You got it. One more. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. Is she a nurse? Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. Yeah. Oh yeah. That'll work. What a coincidence. Okay, I'll have to go quick. Go poke him through the fence with your ice pick. Come on. Come on! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going. Classic tap Q. Ah, she didn't even headshot that dude. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Don't be so loud. Anything else back here? Can't walk under car. Battery's probably up there. There's a light on. Truck battery's probably the wrong size. So yeah, let's see if I can drop this. No power. Hmm. It's locked. No way in. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Can I... This is gonna be loud, I'm guessing. Don't think I can pry that hose apart with just my hands. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Okay. Let's find something to cut with. Do you have something to cut with? Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? <laughs> That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Okay, let's go poke this. Maybe just a small enough hole that it loses a little bit of pressure, not slammed to the ground. I did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, fantastic. That's probably not good. No shit. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry. Kay. There's the battery. Finally something goes right. Disconnect it. Got that one off. There we go. At least the horn stopped. It's off. Grab it. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, sure. Okay, follow me. Come on, Lee. Follow her. Move your ass. Do as I do. Skylight. It's shut. Shoot it out. Okay. She's not going to help me, is she? Oh, she is. Cool. I trust her more than Ben already. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever? 
never stop complaining. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, well, how am I gonna do that? Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. This is where I fall, right? What did you call me? <laughs> well, now that you mention it. Got her. Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the <laughs> hell is she doing? Her own thing. She's from this place. Is this the way I came from? Or need to go? Oh, what's going on here? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Okay. I'm gonna go back the other way then. Go check on Clementine. Hey, what's in the bloody locker? Can't open it without the combination. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to get in there though, because he—it is an option. Is this the way? Uh oh. Little help. Little help here. <laughs> How discreet is Kenny, right? The doors won't close all the way. Go get the axe. No. Whatever. We got Break the door with something. Close it. E place. Cool. Got a hold. Damn well better. There's so many. We got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Yep. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, yeah, Molly has it. Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Is there a code somewhere, maybe? No power, no TV. Hmm. Looks like they have quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Are those like train symbols? I'm not sure. Hmm. Interesting. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. Yeah. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. It's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. <laughs> I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Do you think things will ever be normal again? No. Nope. Just like the way they were before? I don't think so, Claire. I think the best we can hope for is that we'll find a way to survive, to stay together, and to not let this change us. That's what's important. I guess you're right. Oh, okay. Paste, globe. Hmm. Should I talk to these guys? I was hoping there'd be a code for that locker somewhere. 
what do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran mm. off to do something. Well, she better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Tuh. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? Don't it's do it. It's my fault Duck and Katja got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Don't do it. Ben, no offense, but have you lost your motherfucking mind? Kenny's barely hanging on. You tell him you're to blame? I don't even want to think about what he might do. I know. I've thought about that. But I don't know how much longer I can keep looking him in the eye. I feel like I'm lying to him by not telling I'm him. I'm telling you, man, it's a bad idea. Real, real bad. Hey, maybe you're okay walking around with somebody's blood on your hands, but that's oh not who God. I am. I can't just pretend it never happened. Stupid Ben. Look, we need Kenny. We need him to hold his shit together if we're ever gonna get out of here. So yeah. you need to keep this to yourself, for the good of everyone. You hear me? I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Okay, then. Anything over here? Nothing but crayons and construction paper. She have anything hey, to say? Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So hmm. you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. Hmm, He's the one yeah. who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you'd feel the same. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. Busy staring at the wall? What else do you, are you going to do? I mean, we know where the medicine and stuff is. Just keep pointing at that map. And back this way. Maybe I'll find a code in one of these lockers. Don't really want to exit. Yeah, they're a little loud. Anything over here besides the exit? Nope. Okay, let's go double check how the medicine situation's going. Oh, Shit. geez. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. How'd they get in? Don't shoot them. Huh? Oh, miss. There we go. K. 
Okay, it's not zombies, it's obviously me. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Locked. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe. Locked up tight. Hmm. Can we just guess the combination? It's a four-digit code. You do the math. Well, I doubt they just yeah, wrote it take down a while. and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Let's see, four-digit code, eh? Camcorder, maybe? The way this camera's set up, it looks like it would have had a pretty good view of that keypad. I wonder if it got someone punching it in. Empty. <laughs> His hands clipping through the camcorder. The tape's gotta be around here somewhere. Keep looking. Looks like some kind of medical file. Hmm. Anna yeah, there it is. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I think maybe we just got lucky. That'd be a first. Dude, you're standing in front of the desk. Why didn't you try opening the file? Tape one. Does that mean there's more tapes hiding in here? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. That's the dude from the alley. You need to brace yourself. That Molly was beaten. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna. You don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Hmm. No luck on opening the cabinet there. There's got to be another tape. Damn it! We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Ah. Okay, fine. To be continued. Well, that's where I have to call it today. If you like what you saw here, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more of what's going on in this Crawford place, make sure you tune into the next episode tomorrow. Take care, everyone.